Well, <laughs> uh, I made contact with a guy on the other side of the highway about four miles away. Found a neighbor that I forgot was down uh, in Hidden Valley. He's, he probably could see the light in the window if he'd... Uh, <laughs> He's only four tenths of a mile. But I worked a guy in Canada, um, 750 miles away, and uh, it's like 1,200 kilometers. And some other guys heard me. There's were, I got some emails uh, in the last few minutes of, of guys who heard me in other parts of the country. So um, how far away did it go? Uh, I think it's over 800 miles for one of them, maybe 900 miles. Uh, for that kind of power and no antenna but a light bulb, uh, that's really amazing. Again, I was using a light bulb for an antenna stuck in the window. Well, actually two light bulbs in a V configuration. Stuck in that window, really inside the room. Um, the window is a really narrow window. It's like 18 inches wide. Um, but... Um, I somehow they heard me now the signal strength varied a lot I, I could tell and I heard all kinds of stuff um, I heard uh, all over the US guys working uh, DX I didn't hear the DX so my guess is the average hop I think on 20 meters is probably 500 to a thousand miles depending so that sort of fits with the guy that's 750 miles away and the other guy that heard me that's uh, 800 and some odd miles leaves here, lands in their backyard, and so they can hear me. From there, it would bounce up and hit the ionosphere again. And I think at that point, there's just too much in the way of circuit losses. Speaking of losses, think about it for a minute. I'm loading into a resistor, basically, and the feed line losses are huge. I'm using RG58. Yeah, RG58, and um, so what does that mean? I don't know what the hell it means. It uh, it means that this is going to be a really popular mode for one thing, and two, if you're and I could be in the same situation in a year or two, if you're in an area where you're not allowed to put up antennas, or you're not supposed to put up antennas, and you want to put up something, uh, here's a way you can communicate, uh, and looks like you can work the world. It's not a thrilling contact in the sense that it's a long conversation. It's just, you know, back and forth, back and forth. And actually, I think that could be shortened up to a whole lot, to about half what it currently is. Um, but still, you're making contact with these guys. And it, uh, if the software gets any better, uh, you might be able to even go further with uh, better software. Uh, better, I don't know if, there's, if it can be better, but um, sometimes there are improvements that can be, ma can be made in things to make it work better. I'm shocked. Yeah, I'm flabbergasted, gobsmacked, uh, absolutely blown away as to what I could hear. I left it on and, and walked away and uh, you just left it on receive and it heard station after station after station after station. Now they were weak for sure. And maybe they wouldn't hear me calling CQ, but it heard them uh, using a light bulb. I, anyway, um, in, 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 I talked to, uh, to Mark Cherry, WT6P, and we were uh, uh, talking on the phone about this FT8, and he may give it a try too. And he said that, um, well, you could hook up your, your Christmas lights on the outside of the house as an antenna, uh, and this would probably work. And it would. What might be interesting also is uh, it might be a good way to look at how the voltage and current are distributed on an antenna. In other words, in the middle, where it's high current and low voltage, uh, the bulbs wouldn't be lit up. But as you go towards the outside, you've got this increase and then decrease, um, this uh, quarter wavelength thing going on. Well, if you, if you take the whole dipole, it's a half wave. So you'd have the brightest bulbs at, at the end and the dullest in the middle. And what a great way to show how voltage and current are distributed on a dipole antenna using FT8 
uh, a good antenna tuner and some kind of feed line. So if I can if I can do that, I, I'm going to do it. I don't have any light uh, Christmas tree lights or outside lights that have incandescent bulbs, but I'll be out looking for something like that. Anyway, I think Mark's idea was neat. Next video will be how do you hook this stuff up and make it work? Because it turned out it really wasn't all that hard, um, and I'll go through a couple of steps. The, the software has a couple of things in it that you might miss because they're kind of uh, vague in their descriptions, but um, I, I have no criticism of the software or the system uh, because it's just amazing. I mean, uh, one one guy that I, I, I listened to, the band I, there was, n I'll finish here, there was just noise. And the thing, the thing, the receiver and FT8 were, were still decoding signals. Now, with the speaker on or headphones on, I couldn't hear them. I could hear nothing. But the computer was picking call signs out of the noise, putting them up on the screen, and giving, us, giving it a signal report. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, I, ho I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, give FT8 a try, especially if you're in an area where you're not suppo supposed to put up an antenna. Uh, there was even, I, I can't, i got to stop talking, run out of time. There was even a guy on from Pakistan on FT8 and Alpha Papa 2. Uh, it looks like this is going to be all over the world and really hot. And I hope that we can work out uh, band plans maybe and uh, a bigger split in frequency so one's not clobbering another. But it's truly amazing. I mean, CW is really neat for weak signal stuff. This goes beyond that. All right, I'm running out of time. The average video that people watch on YouTube is about six minutes. I've gone way past that. So for now, I'm Jim W6LG um, on uh, FT8, believe it or not. I can't believe it. All right, see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you have tried FT8, uh, post a comment. If you don't know anything about it, post that too, and we'll see how it goes. I think I'm going to do several videos on FT8 because I think I think it needs that. Anyway, 73, thanks for watching. W6.